Hi guys, this is Pestoy and welcome to another Skate for Tarkov video. Today we're going to be covering all the trader items that aren't required, uh, requiring dog tags. I'm going to cover how I tested each of them, which ones were worthwhile for profits, uh, which ones are absolutely useless, and I've got a spreadsheet showing all the information that's going to be available to everyone. So let's crack straight into it. So the way I tested this was I went out and found every single item required to do a trade within the game. <laughs> So this took me about a week to do. Once I had all the items, I found out the values of every single item, which would give us uh, a base point if I sold the item instead of doing the trade, how much I could make money from selling the items that I found compared to the actual trade itself. And then from the trade, uh, how much profit would be made from doing a trade. As well as this, if I could purchase the item that was from the trade without having to use the trade, I found out how much the value of that item was, so then that way, uh, we can find out if it's worth doing the trade to make a profit or just buying the item straight out or if the trade was a good way of getting the item. So let's move on to some of the items that were worthwhile for making for profit. So first we have from Mechanic 1 the MR133 which requires red pliers. Now these red pliers are quite hard to find. However, when you do buy them, it does come out to be quite a good profit. As well as if you do actually want a shotgun with this setup, it's actually a fair bit of a profit. Now the next one actually kind of surprised me a bit. If you're actually after an NVG, the cheapest way of purchasing one is actually using a Bitcoin. A Bitcoin by itself is worth 100,800 rubles, or you can trade it for $842. So if you're looking to buy this head mount, you're looking to spend $1,553. But if you just trade it for a Bitcoin, it's actually considerably cheaper. Now, even if you buy it through Skia, you're looking at around uh, 120,000 rubles, and you can always sell the Bitcoin for 100,000. So it's cheaper to get an NVG, via this method. Now the next one is what I'm putting down is the maybe category. And I've only got one in this so far, but it's effectively the M870 uh, shotgun. Now it requires you to have two power banks. It actually sells for a considerable profit being uh, twenty, just under 24,000 rules. Now every time that I sold a gun, uh, I broke it down so the parts I could sell to skier, I sold to skier and the rest I'd sell to mechanic to make the maximum profit. And this is includes in trades as well. The issue I have with this trade is power banks, I've only found two and I used the two for this trade and I know exactly what Battlestate Games is like and they're gonna add a power bank to be required for a task and I just got rid of my two. It'll probably happen tomorrow and I'll be stuffed. If you do find power banks and you wanna make a, a bigger profit of them, uh, the M870 trade is definitely worthwhile. As well as that, if you wanna have a gun with this setup, definitely worthwhile. But lastly, uh, I would probably just hold on to your power banks for now and make this shotgun yourself because the power banks are really rare and see what happens from there. Next, we have the AKM. Uh, for these four Bitcoins, it actually isn't too bad of a trade. You don't actually make a profit anymore like you used to, but if you're actually looking for a setup like this, including a thermal sc scope, uh, it does work out pretty good. So if you want to go out and buy the, a thermal scope and a similar setup to this, you actually save a lot of money using the four Bitcoins this way, but if you actually just want to sell it for a profit, it's not gonna happen anymore. That's been changed. This is the same with the M4A1. Uh, if you want to uh, have a similar setup with an M4 with a, and you want to get a thermal sight, this isn't actually too bad. You also do get a PMAG out of it, which means you don't have to worry about finding air filters. So I wouldn't say uh, don't get this one. I'd probably say if you're after that kind of stuff, it's not too bad. But definitely uh, do not buy this if you just want to sell it for a profit. You will uh, come out just shy of a profit though. So this one's probably the closest to it. Uh, another good trade that uh, is definitely needed to be on this list is the weapon case. If you wanna go buy a weapon case, it's gonna cost you 880,000 rubles. Uh, however, if you do it for the trade, um, you'll get it for 705,000 rubles. So save seven Bitcoins for a weapon case, works out um, better that way. You won't be able to sell it for a profit because uh, you only be able to sell it for 612,000, but it's still worthwhile. Now the next one's quite a, a simple one. Uh, an MR133 shotgun trades for an AVS rig. Now this actually works out to be quite a good uh, little way of making a bit of money as well as getting a free rig. So if you find a, a 133 shotgun in a raid, break it down, keep the receivers, uh, trade the receivers for the rigs, and sell off the rest, and you actually make a considerable profit, around, around 6,000 rubles profit. So definitely worthwhile doing that uh, uh, if you want rigs. Yeah, you only need Peacekeeper 1, so you can do it straight away from the start of the game. And in the future, I will probably will be using this for uh, when I'm leaving a raid and I can pick up an extra couple of shotguns from scavs on the way out. Uh, this will be a nice little cheap way of getting extra money. Now with the current price drop of the MP5, this one's lost a lot of its value. However, if you wanted to uh, collect 10 of the A26079s, 
Uh, that's the, the brown handle, not the gray handle. Uh, you can trade them from MP5. Now, you'll make about 14,000 rubles profit instead of just selling the knife straight up, but it's also fun to have an MP5. So it's up to you if you wanna use this one. Now, the tri-zip requires you to have uh, one graphics card and one ES lamp. It's not a bad trade, um, and you do make a little bit of profit if you wanted to sell it. This is more if you want to actually use tri-zips. I can buy attack backpacks now, but uh, from PC Deeper 2, this isn't too bad. Uh, all I'd recommend is if you need graphics cards for the task still, you're going to want to save them for that. But uh, for a cheap tri-zip, picking up a graphics card, an ES lamp, and you've just made yourself a bit of profit. A graphics card and an ES lamp will, will save you about 50% on the original purchase price of a tri-zip instead of selling those items straight up. Or you can just trade it for a tri-zip and make a bit of extra money than selling the graphics cards. Now this one's probably the M4 person's heaven. Uh, if you want to get an M4, you can, instead of purchasing the M4 straight up, you can collect some shotguns and trade for it. Things to note, it's a different size barrel to the uh, the full, like the purchasable M4. Uh, so you might want to change the barrel for, for that. The way I did this trade as well is I stripped down all the 153s and only traded for the receiver uh, and then sold off the rest of the parts with the M4. If you do it like that, you actually make an extra 35,000 rubles on finding um, for 153s. So it's actually quite a considerable amount of money you can make this way. Um, however, if you actually like M4s, break down the receivers of the uh, shotguns, sell the rest of it off to skier um, mechanic, and then you'll get yourself a cheap M4. Now, the next one isn't about profit, uh, it's purely about uh, a trade that's worthwhile getting. The 60 round M4 mags, you need two circuit boards. You can sell these for profit. But overall, it's better to get in circuit boards to uh, get the 60 round M4 mags if you use M4s. Now, that's the same for the next trade. Uh, you can get a profit. It's not very much, but you want these P mags to use with your M4s. So collect filters, and that's as simple as that. Next, we have the AK-74N. This one's from Peacekeeper 4. This was the way I got my 60 round AK mags um, when the patch first hit. I think it, I was getting them on the second day this way. Um, the th three gold chains... Now, you've pretty much got two options or three options for three gold chains. There is still a trade for Ford Armors. I'll get into that one soon. But effectively, this is an option if you want to use gold chains because a lot of people don't like Ford. I don't use much Ford at the moment. And you can actually get yourself a AKN that's pretty well pretty well pimped out. The only change I would make to this is I'd put a different stock on it. But it's not too bad overall anyway. It does also sell for a considerable profit. You'll make an extra 14,000 rules over your gold chains uh, selling them to therapists. So it's another option for you as well. Now back in uh, point seven, this used to be my go-to trade. I used to just get my AK-74Ns this way. Now I use AK-74Ms uh, or I use uh, AK-105. So, but this is still a budget way of getting an AK-74N. Uh, therapist or Propor both sell toolkits from level four and you can purchase them and pick yourself up an AK-74N cheap. The other option is if you do find two toolkits, you can do this trade, sell it, and you actually make an extra 2,000 rubles over the toolkits, but it's purely for a good way of getting a budget AK-74N. Now the SV-98, uh, this is a really good trade if you need SV-98. It's about 40% of the price of purchasing an SV-98 because the sell value of the battery and the rec bats. So it's a good way of doing that. However, you do need to find rec bats and batteries whilst in a raid. Uh, if you're still doing your wet job part six, it's another way of getting some extra snipers. And if you do want to uh, collect a couple of rec bats and batteries, instead of selling them to therapists, you can trade for an SV-98 and make yourself an extra 16,000 rubles. So there's an option there. Okay, so this one's one of my go-to trades for when I do loot runs on interchange. I'll actually collect a fair few GM counters, and then at the end of the raid, I'll purchase these pistols and break them down to sell them, because it makes you extra money. You'll actually make an extra 6,000 rubles profit from doing this. Uh, so when you have a GM counter from a raid, trade for this pistol, and then sell it that way. And this goes on to our next one, which is the exact same. Uh, when I'm finding cats during the raid, I'll leave the raid and I'll trade a cat for an AKS 74UB. If you do this trade uh, and break the silencer off the gun and, and separate it all, you'll make uh, 13,000 extra rubles over a, a cat selling to therapist. Or um, I actually use these silencers and I'll find it a budget way of getting silencers because I sell the, the rest of the weapon anyway and I pretty much make the same amount of money as I would have a cat. So hopefully uh, that one was helpful. That's probably one of the biggest ones here in the list that I use. Next, we have the ASVAL. Now you're not gonna go into a raid and find seven MREs and two GM counters to do this trade. You can just purchase these uh, GM counters from Therapist 4, as well as the MREs from Peacekeeper 1. Now, if you were to find these in a raid and then trade it for an ASVAL, you would come out a little bit on top, but this is purely 
uh, in here for how to get an ASVEL. Definitely worth getting if you enjoy using ASVELs. However, the ammunition is expensive and they only use 20 round mags unless you do one of the next trades, which is for a uh, 30 round mag. So the next trade is the 30 round mag for the ASVEL. It requires you to get five pliers. It sells for a very tiny profit over selling pliers directly to therapists, so that's don't even think about doing that. Collect your pliers to get 30 round ASVEL mags. Um, this is probably what I would consider one of the better trades that um, BSG have put in, because it, it's about even, as well as it uh, it controls the flow of a magazine within a game. Next we have the VSS. This is probably one of those trades that you'll want to have uh, all the air filters for if you don't want to use uh, M4s. The uh, horse statues are quite easy to find and you'll want to get a VSS. The uh, downside of this is air filters are quite rare. If you do want to make an extra profit over your air filters and you don't like VSSs, this trade actually does sell for about 13,000 ruble profit. Um, so instead of selling your air filters and horse statues to therapists, you could trade for this, make 14 grand and go that way. So next we have the Ford Armour. So this trades for seven gold chains and actually comes out about even. It's uh, You lose about 10,000 rubles over the gold chains. However, it's probably the best way in the game to get Ford Armours. The other trade is the two Bitcoins from Mechanic. The problem with that is you'll get uh, a lot more loss out of your Bitcoins. I'd say the best for last, this was actually my biggest surprise in the whole list. I was actually trading my rolls to therapists just to make the money. However, I found out four gold chains and a roller will get your money case, which is all good in itself. However, I did discover if you trade for a money case and then sell it to therapist, instead of selling the roller and four gold chains separate, you do the trade, you sell the money case to therapist, and you'll actually make 50,000 rubles profit, or just shy, 48,000. So this is a good way of making extra money when you find rollers uh, and you don't like using Ford armors, so you can just want to get rid of your gold chains in another way. So useless trades. From my understanding, uh, when they wanted to implement the Glock into the game, they wanted to have the excitement behind it and they wanted to make a different way of purchasing items. So what they did was they had fully kitted items, they added them uh, as a trade with a Bitcoin. Now pretty much every single one of the Glocks and uh, the Zenit uh, submachine gun for Bitcoins is a waste of money. You can purchase the item a lot cheaper by purchasing the item parts yourself and then making it yourself. The uh, Vitya Zenit is very close to on par as the purchase value to the trade value, um, but it's still just, in my opinion, all these trades should just be taken out of the game as they're just wasting space in the trade room. Another trade that I have no idea why people are still doing it, but there's still four being in the last hour, is uh, the six Wilson cigarettes for an IFAC. Uh, they're really rare to find and um, people need them for a task. It does give a purpose in the game for them, but six of them is a lot for one IFAC when you can lose an IFAC like that. So, so moving on to my spreadsheet. I've actually put together a spreadsheet that everyone can have access to. It's in the description below. It will show you what the items are in the game, what the trade is, and then in each of the columns there's one that will say the purchase value of buying that item with uh, buying it and assembling it yourself. The next column is the purchase value for the trade items, as in if I had these trade items and I went to sell the items, so for example, a Bitcoin sells to therapist for 100,800 rubles. And the next trade is once I've traded, done the trade, how much does that item now sell for if I broke it down and sold it to the best possible amount. Then over to the right, uh, it shows you the profit and loss for doing the trade, as well as uh, I've made a column saying yes, no, and maybe. So everything that's a yes at the moment, I think I, I'm considering worthwhile whilst everything blank uh, either needs further investigation or is a no. So feel free to use that spreadsheet. I'm gonna keep using it and updating as they make adjustments throughout the game. So that's gonna be my go-to spreadsheet from now on for all the trades from within the game. So lastly, uh, to summarize, there are some worthwhile trades out there. I'd probably look towards the ones that are doing trades for the items that you actually need that are cheaper than the purchase value or ones like the cat statue or the GM counters for a profit. Um, just remember, you need the air filters for the magazines, uh, same with circuits if you're using M4s. Uh, as well as that, uh, air filters are good to get your VSS. Uh, and the, probably the big one that I didn't remember or didn't even know about was uh, the money case, which sells for a big profit if you want to sell gold chains and rollers. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you next time.